I got a sweet tooth today, just in the candy mood, y'all. Oh, come check out my candy. Do you think you can make a math sentence, a math equation, a little addition story out of my little candy presentation? You think you can? Give it a shot. That's right. There are one, two, three, four, four blue candies. And there are one, two red candies. Altogether, I have six candies total. Mm, let's make that, let's write that out. We have four. There are four blue, and there are two red. That's the same as, or the sum of, six candies all together. Yum, yum. Yeah, you're ready for today's map. Involves a little bit of reading. Uh, some reading that I'm pretty sure you can all handle. So go get your math book and, and a pencil, and I'll... I'll get you started, get you started. We're not gonna do the entire thing together, but at least get you started and give you some strategies here. Go ahead and turn a page. 51, making addition stories. This is really to get you ready for the next chapter, kind of a biggie in our next chapter. Let's look at this uh, example here. All right, look, what do you notice about this group of elephants over here? Yeah. Looks like they're playing, right? Oh, and look at these two. Looks like they want to join them. And that's exactly what this says. Four elephants are playing. This is really good reading practice for many of you. Two elephants join them. There's these sort of funny little shapes here. It's just to help you fill out your math equation. So we've got four plus two equals six. Notice all the, the add-ins as well as the sum are in the square boxes. The plus sign and the equal sign are in the little round sections. For a total of six, there are six elephants in all because you've did the math equation. You got four and two, four and two, naturally equals six because there are six elephants in all. So the math is pretty straightforward. It's not the math that is tricky. It's the reading for some of you. So you just have to read it out loud and think about what makes sense. And it's really helpful to use the picture. So just take a moment before you start diving into filling out the numbers and getting all panicky because you don't really know what all these shapes mean. Just take a moment and look at the picture and make sense of it yourself. What do you notice here? Yeah, we have some light colored seals. And then we also have some darker color seals, right? Different colors. And that's exactly what this says. There are, yeah, how many light colored seals? There are how many darker colored seals? And automatically I know you're adding it up, which is great. Just be sure you're filling out the math equation in the correct section. Just like four and two make six up here. So you have how many white plus how many darker color seals equals how many all together. And that's exactly what the sentence says. There are how many of both types of seals in all. And this is a nice connection back to our previous work that we have done with number bonds. This number bond needs to match this math sentence as well as a picture. It all needs to matchy, matchy, match it all up together. And it's the same thing with the following pages. Just be sure to look at the picture first before filling everything out. And work slow and just double check that your numbers are written correctly and 
that it all matches up. All right, that should be enough to get you started. Um, you know, let your grown up or parent know if you need some help with the reading, but be sure to look at the picture first. And there's lots of, lots of other little picture hints. All right, Bambini, I'm gonna go back to eating my M&Ms, yum, yum.